Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Malik Bhatti from Sonicwall, the fourth IT Jam of our Sonicwall series. Malik is the Director of Product Management for Sonicwall and joins us today to discuss the use of multi-instance in business and how the Sonicwall NSSP 15700 can help enterprises achieve their security goals. Thanks for coming along, Malik, and welcome to the Jam. Thank you, Mitch. Happy to be here. Fantastic. So just to start off, with an overall branching question, what is multi-instance and why is it so important for businesses? Yeah, so uh, let, let me start with uh, one of the key capabilities that we have introduced in, on our uh, generation seven, an SSP firewall platform is multi-instance. Uh, multi-instance is modern and the next generation of multi-tenancy capability, which has been there uh, for the past several years in the industry. Uh, it takes a modern approach for network security segmentation for, for, for large enterprises and also the some of the data center deployments. So, so what I would, we'd like to talk about is, let's talk about what is multi-tenancy, what is it exactly, and how it differs from, uh, and also we'll talk about multi-instance architecture that we came up, and how it differs from the traditional multi-instance architecture, and how our solution addresses some of the challenges that, uh, that are actually there in the traditional multi-instance, multi-tenancy. Uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll talk about how businesses can really benefit from our uh, new technology or architecture. So multi, multi-tenancy is nothing but, which is, which is the older way of doing things, older legacy architecture, is the capability of using the same hardware and then virtually segment or logically partition some of the segmentation uh, that what uh, uh, our end, end users or the firewall admins traditionally used to do, and then used, used primarily for uh, to segment the network security segmentation traffic in the past. So this, this approach is somewhat of a shared resource approach, uh, where in which the tenants, they actually share the same hardware resources like the CPU, the memory, the interfaces, and also not only that, but, it does also use the same operating system. So there is one instance, but on that one instance on the physical hardware, there are logical partitions, or you could call it as virtual partitions, thereby the segmentation is being done. It has its own flaws and also this legacy arch architecture has some challenges. Uh, for example, this legacy architecture doesn't address the fault tolerance. For example, if there is an instability, that is caused by one of the tenants in the whole system, then the, because there is one single instance that is running on the system and that one single instance, single tenant can pretty much bring down all the systems down and also, also all the tenants. So which means there is no built-in fault tolerance at all. Second is the resource starvation production. For example, if one of the tenants completely takes up all the available bandwidth, again, bandwidth is limited, you have the front panel ports connected and you have a limited set of bandwidth, which is available for the system as a whole, right? And if one of the logical tenants or the virtual tenants takes up the available bandwidth, for example, or takes up all the resources on the CPU or the CPU cores, then the other, the entire system gets affected and also the rest of the other logical tenants also gets affected. So it doesn't provide the resource starvation production. Now on top of that, these instances are not independent they're dependent on each other. And there is one map, there is only one management plane that is built onto the system. So there's no separation of management. So they all run the same one operating system. If there is an issue with one operating system running on the box, it's going to happen. For example, I mean, uh, bugs are common. Whenever there is a new release in the software, bugs are common. There could be a possibility that the version that they're running might have some instability, which means, since it's only one instance, the rest of the rest of the operating system, rest of the tenants also gets affected. So that's a major, that's one of the challenges that we keep hearing from our customers. So looking at the challenges, it's always about solving challenges. What is good for the customer? So looking at those challenges with the traditional approach, what we did is we kind of came up with a new approach, which is which is which is a modern way of solving the same problem, but using a container architecture. So which is the container-based architecture basically addresses all the challenges that we can, we just talked about, okay? Uh, for example, fault tolerance, resource resistance, and also having these tenants independently running. They have their own operating system, they have their own data plane, 
they have their own management plan, which basically solves majority of the problems. So our multi-instance allow the security professionals not only to configure and run multiple independent instances on the same physical hardware, but also addresses all these challenges we just talked about. Okay. And the other capability is, since these instances are separate, uh, it also gives the admin a choice to choose the right size, right size firewall instance. And accordingly, they can allocate the number of ports or the, or the front panel ports and also the operating system independently, because as I mentioned, it has a different management plane altogether. So giving you that independence and also flexibility. And from a management perspective, because these are independent instances, one of the, the instance stability or fault tolerance or, uh, or the resource starvation doesn't affect the rest of the stuff and also has independent management plane. From a look and feel perspective, it does look like it's an independent firewall. It has its own physical interfaces. It has its own security policies, a separation of data plane and management plane. And also from a device configuration standpoint, it's completely different and isolated from the rest of the tenants. So there is no chance of one of the tenant or the instance pretty much affecting the overall stability of the system itself. So that's the beauty of the multi-instance because we kind of, when we spoke to our customers and partners, this is what kind of traditionally the, the multi-tenant multi architecture is, and it has its own independent, uh, it has its own flaws throughout the implementation. So we took a, as I mentioned, we took a different approach, and that's one of the differentiating approaches that we have taken uh, when you compare the same, same solution with the uh, rest of the other vendors. Now, as I mentioned, this is one of the key differentiators. Why is it important for businesses? Imagine organizations that run separate business segments. For example, it could be engineering, it could be, it could be, it could be HR, it could be research department in an organization, or for example, universities have research research and also data centers. They have a separate instance for dev instance, they have a separate instance for DevOps, and they have separate instances for production environments and running different sorts of different applications. It is, it is challenging for them to test this live in the system on a single instance, single, single firewall using the legacy traditional multi-tenancy because you never know what's going to happen because you don't want that to affect, have a triple effect on the rest of the system and also the rest of the tenants. So very powerful for enterprises, universities, and uh, especially universities having the research departments. And universities, think about it, when you talk about universities, universities also have student dogs, where in which you want to completely isolate the student traffic when they're in the dorms versus the actual production traffic when it goes to the firewalls. So that's in a nutshell, the, the overview of multi-instances and how we differentiate ourselves from a traditional uh, multi-tenancy. Fantastic. And just getting back to um, Sonic Wall NSSP 15,700, um, 15, it's obviously a trademark product um, for you guys at Sonic Wall. Why does this firewall stand out? So, oh. Fantastic question. So yes, this is, we take pride in, in our SSP series and especially the 15, 15700 uh, is one of our high-end and ultra-high-end firewalls for uh, large enterprises, data centers, and also uh, some of the university university deployments that we have seen. Uh, several reasons, uh, either from a hardware standpoint, whether it's from performance standpoint, connectivity standpoint, and also one of the uh, features that we just talked about, which is a multi-instance, the NSSP series carries those uh, feature functionality apart from the regular firewall, uh, uh, firewall management, firewall, standard firewall features. From a hardware standpoint, um, the platform is packed with uh, uh, high-speed processors, lots of memory, lots of storage capability, and also the 100 gig qualified gig connectivity which is essential for large organizations or even data centers when, when they're trying to consolidate their networking and routing stack. So it provides a perfect platform for all the consolidation efforts. Not only that, from a network segment, a security segmentation standpoint, if they're trying to bring other segments into the network because you're consolidating a lot of security networking together, it's a perfect platform to, to make use of the multi-instance capability. And it's just not about connectivity. It's also about the performance. Uh, the box itself, especially the 15700, um, is capable of around 100 gigs of 
stateful firewall inspection and close to 80 gigs of uh, threat prevention and also application throughput performance. Uh, not, to, not to mention, but lots of lots of uh, sessions because when these are deployed in large scale deployments, uh, the data center or where there's a consolidation of a lot of other networking segments, the box has to provide a lot of, lot of connections. Uh, it does provide around 80 million connections. And also today, if you look at all the ransomware threats, all, the, all those things are coming, Threat actors are leveraging the encrypted threats. So our box, the 15700 also provides uh, around 4 million of decrypted TLS and SSL connections. If somebody wants to, if a university or uh, a, a large enterprise wants to look into and inspect what's actually going on into the network and also look at these uh, hidden threats. Uh, Multi-instance is one, one key capability that we talked about. To top it up, it's all about when it comes to uh, the, the enterprises and all, it's all about how much does it really cost? What is the total cost of ownership when you deploy with all the security features, with all the throughput, performance, connectivity, flexibility that you get? Uh, the TCO compared to the rest of the vendors, uh, it's, it's, it has lots of good TCO. And also there are third party validations. We compare ourselves with, uh, with the other vendors also. Uh, by the way, those, those are already available on our uh, SonicWall website. Sure. And just quickly, how does SonicWall work with businesses to implement um, these type of technologies? Especially when it comes to bigger boxes and bigger organizations, large organizations, enterprises, it all comes with proper planning. Uh, it's always about proper planning. You plan it, understand the requirements very early on in the process. Uh, and also right, accordingly uh, plan for the right implementation. Uh, the, especially the multi instance and the firewall technology, it's pretty straightforward. But again, as I mentioned, it's all about the proper planning. So our sales team starts with the right sizing of the product, first of all. Our sales team works with, and also our sales along with our worldwide uh, secure first partners, uh, work with the customer to actually understand what the customer requirements are, what the sizing is. Accordingly, they, they, they basically recommend a certain firewall in the NSSP series. That's the key aspect. Once that is done, it's about the deployment. This is where we have our global professional services team, our solution architects, our design teams. They all work together with the customers right from the beginning, with the sales team, with our, with our channel partner, right from the get-go to understand their actual network and security architecture requirements, and then go help, go and help with the implementation. And not only that, once the implementation is done, they do the health monitoring checks just to make sure it's all, it's all taken care of. As I mentioned, it all starts with the planning phase. One other aspect I want to mention is with the 15700 series and also the NSSP series, uh, when somebody, when a customer buys the security subscription license, it comes with 60 days of professional services consultation and implementation, and that's included free of cost. Oh, fantastic, what a great, um, great, uh addition to the service. Yeah. Um, and just to finish off, how do people get in touch with you guys um, to inquire about your firewall solutions and, and specifically NSSP uh, 15700? As always, I mean, please reach out to our local SonicWall resellers or partners who are part of our security, uh, secure first part partner for them, uh, who are all always trained on the latest technologies uh, that are available in SonicWall University discuss about the overall, not only not just the NSSP, overall SonicWall's comprehensive set of solutions. And also, uh, you can also visit the website, which basically talks about different products, different offerings, offerings that we have, which gives you a comprehensive set of solutions, including uh, on-prem, whether it could be on-prem, it could be cloud, or it could be a SaaS solution. Uh, product overviews, white papers, customer success stories, and testimonials, all these are available. If somebody wants to have a deep dive into the technology and also the, the setup solutions that we offer. And for somebody who wants to try some of these products and the solutions, we always have 30 day or 60 day trials. So they can they can try it themselves before trying to buy a solution. It always helps. Of course. Thank you so much for joining us today, um, Malik. And we look forward to hearing more from um, Sonic Wall. Great talking to you, Mitch, today. And thanks, thanks, folks, for listening. Thank you.